Hello and welcome to the 2009 Vio P Pocket PC Conversion Year course. Today we're going to introduce you to the exciting new Vio Pocket PC. We have the white Vio P with us here today and we're going to open it up. We're going to show you everything that comes in the box, talk about all the new exciting cool features and show you a little bit about what makes this new Pocket PC quite a unique entry to the notebook lineup. So like I mentioned, this is the white model that we have. The of the P-Series. And what's great about this particular unit, it's a very, very gorgeous finish. This Vio-P actually does come in four different color options as well. Uh, this is called the Crystal White. There's also a Garnet Red, our Onyx Black, and our Emerald Green model. So four exciting lifestyle kind of choices, and you can really kind of pick the color that's going to suit your needs. So let's open it up and take a look at this Vio-P. So as you can see, um, you're greeted by a couple really nice things when you open the unit up for the first time. One of the things that really differentiate this notebook as a, a unique pocket PC, um, not only is its sheer size, it weighs in at a mere 1.4 pounds, 700 grams. It's got a beautiful 8 inch 16 by 9 widescreen display, um, very, very beautiful resolution of 1600 by 768. We do use an LED backlight on it, that's how we get the nice slim profile as well as to keep the weight down. But this is really made to be able to watch back movies on in high definition using that beautiful high res screen. You also see that we have our Motion Eye webcam technology, so if you are a current Vio user, you're definitely going to be familiar with this. Uh, definitely had to be a perfect addition to the Vio P. And the most important thing is looking at the keyboard. Uh, this is really something that's going to set the Vio P apart from its competition. Someone who's used to using a normal notebook will really be able to naturally move to the Vio P and be able to type on it no problem. This uses the same um, keyboard that you're used to on a lot of the conventional Vios. And you have the touchpad mouse here in the middle. And the other two cool features to really point out is uh, these two shortcut keys here. And one thing that's really neat about the Vio P is that we have an instant on mode. And I'm going to show you what this is all about. You have a button here in the corner that you can actually push, and this is going to actually launch the instant on mode. And you'll see here in a second when the unit powers up what this is going to allow us to access. And what's great about this mode is if you are a heavy traveler and you don't want to be carrying around your larger 14 inch or 15 inch notebook, the Vio P is going to allow you to do some really neat things. And as you see as this instant on mode launches, uh, for those of you who are familiar with our PlayStation 3 product, our PSP, and now in our Bravias and our Blu-ray players, you'll actually be used to seeing this interface. This is the award-winning cross-media bar. And what this is going to allow us to do is navigate our computer and access things like our photos, music, our videos, and this final page will actually even allow you to open up an internet browser Skype, and instant message. So you can access all these cool features without actually having to start up the Windows operating system. This is all done through the instant on mode. So if, you want to, if you're on a flight or you're on the train, you can listen to music, watch your photos, view movies all off your hard drive, as well as surf the net, Skype, and instant message. So very, very cool connectivity options. So let's power up the VIOP into uh, our Windows operating system and we'll show you a little bit more. So now that we have the VIOP started, we'll show you what, what it can do when you have your Windows operating system powered up. One thing to really note that makes the VIOP quite unique is that it is actually running full Windows Vista Home Basic on it. And that's quite a feat for, for the machine that it is. It does have you know, quite a bit of power backing it in such a small compact size. It is using Intel's Atom 1.33 gigahertz processor. It's packed with a 60 gig hard drive. You also have two gigs of onboard RAM as well. So it is a very capable machine to run Windows Vista on it. And with Vista, it allows us to do a lot of really unique things with our photos, our music, and so forth. Um, one thing that's to note about the, the hard drive is the fact that this shares a feature that some of our higher end vials actually have, and this uses our hard drive percent protection, our G sensor hard drive protection. And this is great for someone that you know may be a little bit clumsy, that if you do drop your laptop and it is on, 
the hard drive will actually disengage and allow you to make sure that your data is protected just in case if an accident does happen. So it does give you that peace of mind that if you do have your important memories or important files that with the G-Sensor hard drive protection, you are protected. Um, one thing to note too is that the battery life on the VIOP is quite phenomenal. With that LED backlight screen at 1600 by 768 resolution, we're actually able to get up to four hours of battery life with the battery that comes with it. So quite a phenomenal feat and great if you are traveling a lot, you can watch a couple movies without having to worry about your battery dying you halfway through the movie. Um, one of the things that I did want to point out as well is that if you are you know, a heavy multitasker like I am, one thing that I tend to do is I always tend to run my computer open with multiple windows. So I'll be listening to music in my Windows Media Player. I may be organizing my photos in another, fo in another browser, working on a PowerPoint presentation, and even setting things up in my calendar. So if you're like me and you have multiple windows open at once, it tends to kind of make your desktop a little bit busy and cluttered. What's really nice is the fact that we've incorporated a cool shortcut key, and it's down here where we touched on uh, the instant on mode in the brief segment before. Well, now I'm going to tell you about what this second button shortcut key does. And when you hit this button here, what it's going to do is it's going to take all those open windows and basically put them onto four smaller windows on your screen. So now you can actually view all the different windows that you have open, and you go, oh yeah, I want to go to my calendar, find your calendar, maximize it, and now you can view it in full screen. So it's a great way of being able to Keep all your data organized on your screen, especially if you're a heavy multitasker and you're really pushing the limits of your notebook. A couple of the other things that I really wanted to make sure that we point out that you have a good understanding of the VIOP is we talked about that instant on mode that we have when you actually have the computer turned off and allow you to access your photos, music, video, instant messaging, things like that. Well, you also have it in the Windows operating system as well. And when we go back to the two shortcut keys down here, and now when you actually go and hit the cross media bar button, now you'll actually be able to use the power of the Vio Media Plus software to allow you to go in and now access your photos, your music, and videos in a similar fashion to what we did before. But now we're using the little bit the sleeker cross media bar. But again, the functionality is the same. And what's great about the Vio Media Plus software is that if you are a customer that has a PlayStation 3, for example, or you have one of our DLNA-equipped Bravias, you can actually set up your VIOP with your PS3, for example, and stream your photos, your music, and your videos straight from your VIOP over your network right to your PlayStation 3 at home. So you don't have to worry about hooking your computer up directly to your PlayStation or to your television. You can stream it wirelessly using the DLNA BioMedia Plus software as well as if you have a Bravia with DLNA, you can stream your photos right from your VIOP over your network to your Bravia and sit on your couch and use that Bravia remote to access all your photos. So the interface, again, quite sleek, very easy to navigate through. So you can view all your photos, do great slideshows, use the XDJ feature on Vio Media Plus for your music, as well as view your movies as well. So the cross media bar, great add-on, and you, this gives you two examples of how you can use it. Um, one thing that you may have noticed is that I've been kind of working with, without having to use the trackball mouse on the VIOP, that's because I've been using one of our Bluetooth mice. And I'm going to bring it into the image here. And This is a great addition for someone who may not be comfortable using the trackball. It's a complete wireless solution using the power of Bluetooth. And you can see it's color-coded to the VIO specifically, so no matter what color you have, we have the matching colored mice for it as well. And on top of having the mouse, you can also match it up with a great color-coded fitted VIOP case that's available as well. So you can really make sure that you're fully equipped with not only that beautiful VIOP, but you have the case and the Bluetooth mouse for it as well as an essential accessory. So thank you for joining us today, and I hope you enjoyed the 2009 VIOP Pocket PC course. Don't forget to log into Convergineer in the, on the Convergineer certification link to complete your certification and complete the exam for the course. Thanks for joining us today.